Hey everybody. So in this video, we are talking about product to sum and sum to product identities. So they want us to rewrite the following expression as a product. So here we have this addition problem and they want us to rewrite this so that it is a multiplication problem. So here we have sine of 2a plus sine of... <laughs> I'll, I'll start that over. We have sine of 2y plus sine of 6y. Now, if we wanted to rewrite this, this is the same thing as sine of a plus sine of b. Now, the reason I do this is so that I know which formula to use. So if I have sine of a plus sine of b, that formula is 2 times sine of a plus b all over 2 times cosine of a minus b, and this is all over 2 as well. So the reason that I rewrite it with a and b, because in my formula I use that notation, now I know that everywhere I see an a, I'm going to write 2y, and everywhere I see a b, I'm going to write 6y. So here I have 2 sine of 2y plus 6y, this will all be over 2, times cosine of a minus b. So that will be 2y minus 6y, and this will all be over 2. Now I'm going to simplify what's in my parentheses. So here we have 2 sine 2y plus 6y is 8y, and 8y divided by 2 is 4y. So here we have sine of 4y times cosine of 2 minus 6 is negative 4, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So this will be negative 2y. Now, one thing you have to pay attention to, you have a negative inside your parentheses here. So you are going to want to check for what's called an even and odd identity. So we know that cosine of negative theta is cosine theta. Now this rule comes from the unit circle. So I'll just give you an example here. If I had cosine of 45 degrees, I am going to get root 2 over 2. If I have cosine of negative 45 degrees, my answer is still root 2 over 2. So whether the angle is positive or negative, it will not affect the sine of the cosine value. Here, even though this is cosine of negative 2y, the negative is not going to affect the answer. So with cosine, this negative can go away. So I have 2 sine of 4y times cosine of 2y. So this would be my expression rewritten. Again, this can be confusing because a lot of times you'll see this, your professor or teacher will be doing this, and you're like, oh, you forgot the negative. What happened here? Why did it just go away? With cosine, a positive or negative angle does not affect the outcome of the answer. So really, if we're just talking about writing the question more simply, it's easier to evaluate at a positive angle than a negative angle, most times. So since they are equivalent with cosine, I can just say cosine of 2y. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.